Buenos días. Good morning and welcome. We will start a press conference. Please remember one question per intervention and please identify yourself and the company that you represent. Beginning of this press conference, please remember we do one question per intervention and please identify yourself with the name and the company that you represent. Hola, David. Hello, David. Live for Real Madrid Television, you played 111 matches and champions. You won it three times. You know, based on your own experience, what this competition is about. What would you say is the key to win the qualifying round to the before Chelsea? It depends uh, on many factors, uh, on many details. We all know uh, games like this are re really special and uh, the Champions League have its own history, but uh, we are very focused, we are, we are very confident too. And uh, of course, uh, we want to reach our goal and go one, one round further. Hello, David. How did the local room took care of Valverde after what happened after Villarreal? How are the colleagues with him and how is Valverde? Ah, he's very good. Um, he got all the support from us uh, for sure. And he's training very well. He, he looks very sharp and very focused uh, for the game tomorrow. Um, but um, I can't say more about uh, those things, uh, what happened. Hello, Dave. Back here from Radio Nacional, Juan Massanza. Since you got to Real Madrid, you played more center midfield, but you participated quite often on the left side. Were you more comfortable to play? I think it's not a secret that I can play more positions and I'm a very flexible player. Uh, but of course, I feel much better in the uh, center position. This is the position I, I play since four years now. Um, but um, what I want to do is always to, to support and help the team, try to put my qualities uh, uh, into the squad and try to help the team to be successful at the end of the day. Tal, David? Hello, David. Mario Cortejana from The Athletic. Talking about your position, were you missing uh, uh, not having more positions like you did throughout your career, like midfield? If I want to. Um, yeah, in, in, in my past, in my career, I think I, I played a lot of positions and um, I'm a very flexible player. I had coaches who wanted to try me in different positions, uh, but I end up now in, in central defense, in the uh, central defense, and um, this is where I feel very well. Hello, David. Javier, uh, I would like to ask about what happened with the best awards. After the votes came out, there were a lot of criticism, and I would like to know if you were hurt on how you felt about everything that was said. Can you repeat the question, please? With the best awards, after the votes from Austria, you have to make a communicate. After the best award, you have to make a communication on the criticism you received. So, how did you feel? Were you hurt? Were you bothered about what is said? I know what I can do, I know my qualities and I, ca I know how I can help the team and um, I was always focused on myself and tried to, to hard very well, uh, work very well and work very hard and uh, yeah, I feel very good now. I had some issues uh, like uh, with injuries but I feel very well now, confident and uh, ready to play. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, David. Luis Castro. I would like to ask, because every year you played on big teams, teams that have that that are pressed to win the Champions League, and yesterday they were asking to the Guardiola, the coach from Manchester City, about that situation. He said that he cannot win everything, that not everybody is going to fail. So I would like to ask if you feel more pressed now than last year. You won last year but it seems that it's an obligation to win again. So are you feeling more pressed here than in all the clubs? Um, if you look at the history of Real Madrid, uh, of course the pressure is very high over here. Um, this is what we know. 
and uh, but we love dealing with that. Um, um, Real Madrid is a, a special club, uh, the biggest club in the world, and of course we have to deal with pressure. Um, but this is what we love, and we work very hard and uh, focused every single day, and uh, we are very confident and uh, trying to make this badge proud. Good day, for Chinguito, seeing the last few matches from Barca and the feelings they're having and you, the way you're behaving in La Liga, what do you think about people saying that Real Madrid dropped the Liga if you if Real Madrid could have done more for La Liga than it did? Of course, uh, the goal every single year is to win the La Liga and uh, we dropped a lot of points uh, this year. This is what we know, um, but we have to keep uh, going on. We have to be st uh, stay calm, stay focused, go from game to game. And uh, this is what makes us very special. We, we fight till the end and uh, try to, to win every single game. David, hello. Uh, Gary, Sky Sports UK. Hi. Um, Chelsea... Uh, nearer the bottom of the Premier League than the top. They've, in preparation for this game, they've had three managers in one week. They haven't won, even scored a goal this month. Cesar Aspilicueta, who's obviously the club captain injured, but the club captain says he thinks there's a chance Real Madrid will underestimate Chelsea. Do you think there's a chance of that? Oh, we don't underestimate um, um, Chelsea. We know that uh, they still have a great squad, a great uh, or are a, uh, a great team, and we have to be focused. We have to focus on ourselves. Try to to be very concentrated and uh, press from the first minute on, and try to be successful tomorrow. Um, they they still have uh, good players, a great uh, squad, like I said, and a strong team. And uh, changes uh, they have done maybe in the last week um, can do some things too. And this is what we know. Uh, and uh, so we have to stay very focused. ¿Qué tal, David? Mira. For Radio Marca Live, I would like to ask again about the best that my colleague was asking. You've chosen Messi before Benzema as captain from Austria, and a lot of people were angry at you because they didn't understand. You have to make a statement, so I would like to ask about the process. How did you choose Messi and why you've chosen Leo before Benzema? I'm sure you know how... Uh, this happened, um, but if you want me to explain it again, no problem. Um, um, it's not me, yeah? All right, it's not me who, who was uh, choosing uh, Leo in front of, of Karim. Um, we have a team and uh, we, everybody can vote uh, in our team, and at the end of the day, there will be the result, and this was the result. Hola David, aquí. For Benavio Digital, Rudiger said in an interview, Rudiger said in an interview that he wanted Ancelotti to continue and you had him in Bayern and now in Madrid. Would you like Ancelotti to continue after summer? Thank you. Of course, um, he's a great coach. He showed it. Uh, <laughs> A lot of times what uh, kind of coach he is, um, he has a lot of experience and uh, he really knows how, uh, how to be successful. This is what I know, this is what we all have seen in the, in the past and um, I see him very, very good and uh, we are very happy to have him here and of course we would love to, to have him also next year. Servus David, Adrian Kühl. Who will you support and uh, what will a possible semi-final against Bayern mean to you? Um, of course, I will, uh, I, I will support uh, Bayern Munich. I was there for, for a long time and uh, had a really great history there and I know the, uh, the boys very well. Um, but um, I think it will be a very interesting game. Uh, two great teams will uh, face each other and uh, yeah, we'll see. David. I would like to ask about tomorrow. Do you think that Real Madrid is the favorite? 
think most of the times Real Madrid is, is the favorite, but this is are things we are not thinking about. We are very focused on ourselves. Uh, we trained very well in the last couple of days, and um, the goal is uh, very clear. We want to 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 reach uh, the semifinals and uh, to start tomorrow, uh, start very well, and um, trying to be successful tomorrow. Hola, David. For l'équipe, I would like to know if for you, the uh, couple Benzema Vinicius is the best in the world, and how do you explain that they are so complementary for two seasons? Thank you. I guess so. Um, they are a really great couple. You can see this every single day in training and also uh, every weekend in the game. Uh, they are. They are great, and um, we are very happy to have him in our squad. And uh, yeah, this is not a surprise to me how they act on the field, how they they play together on the field. Because um, I see them every single day in, uh, working very hard in, in the in the on the pitch and also in the dressing room. Karim is a leader; he's our captain, and he always tries to um, to lead the team and also tries to help uh, younger players uh, like like Vini. David, ¿qué tal? Buenas. Marcelo Duval, for Dosis Futbolera. In the last few hours, your colleague Rudeberg stated that in Champions he could feel that the teams were afraid. Do you think that tomorrow Chelsea is going to come out in Bernabeu being afraid? Um, I don't think that they will be afraid, uh, but for sure we will try everything to to make them impress um, it's a special game in a special a special stadium in front of uh, our fans uh, who are very special uh, we could have seen this especially last year in the champions league and uh, um, it's not easy to beat us i guess uh, in our home stadium in front of our fans ¿Qué tal, david here to your right ruben canisayos for abc i would like to ask how does this champions change regarding the last one? The first legs of these quarterfinals and then hypothetical semi-final are in the Bernabeu, the first leg and on the second leg. And in the documentary from champions from last season, you were saying that the chair where you celebrated the third goal before PSC, you have it at home. I would like to confirm if you have that chair and if you have it, where do you have it at home and how do you feel when you see that chair? Um, yeah, this year a little bit changed because we have uh, the first game at home and the second away. Uh, but this doesn't change a lot uh, to us because uh, we know uh, we can do everything in two games. We, we know our our strengths. We we are very confident, and uh, this is how we work every single day. And um, yeah, the celebration was. Uh, something out of a situation was uh, which was very special i guess and um yeah i can confirm uh, they gave the chair to me and um, it's at home i think we're about those preguntas last two questions christian bayer servus tv servus Zwei große Karrieren gehabt, klar, bei den Bayern und die zweite bei Real Madrid. Du hast mit so vielen großen Spielern gespielt. Ribéry, Robben auf der einen Seite, jetzt könnte man es ewig fortsetzen, Benzema, Modric und so weiter. Gibt es da in der ersten und in der zweiten Karriere für dich einen Spieler, der da in Erinnerung bleibt, der, von dem du viel gelernt hast, der dich geprägt hat? Should I translate? Ah, okay. No. Um, yeah, um, of course, I'm very blessed with my career. Um, I'm very grateful for my career. And if there's one special player who I'm thinking right now, maybe Frank Ribéry, he had his 40th birthday a couple of days ago. So um, he was in my mind in the last couple of days. Última pregunta, last question. Hi, David. Jesus López from Star Chelsea had three different coaches in a week. There's a lot of confusion around the club uh, lately. How do you prepare for a game like that when do you know what to expect from the rival? 
Um, first of all, we all know that uh, they still have a great squad, uh, a great team, and uh, in the Champions League everything can happen. Um, you could have seen also they played against Dortmund and uh, beat them, and uh, now they are facing us. So, uh, but um, our key will be to be to stay focused on ourselves. Uh, we, we believe in us, and uh, we are very confident. Like I said before. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.